Well, hey there. Welcome to another one of my cheesy YouTube videos. Hello, this video is on what's required to change the bed out on a Dodge Dakota. I just recently put this bed on, so I thought I'd tell you what was required. There are eight bolts holding the bed to the frame, four on each side. One, two, three, four. The second one from the back has to be accessed through a hole in the frame. This one you access through this hole in the frame. It takes a 15 millimeter socket for the bolts. The bolts that hold the bed to the frame have blue Loctite. They go in from underneath going upwards. I'd say the Loctite's probably pretty important because if they ever, they ever vibrate loose, they're going to just drop out onto the ground. Clean up the old Loctite. Put a dab of Loctite back on when you go back together with it. A 15 millimeter socket with an impact and a 8 or 10 inch extension would be best, especially since you got to clear the brake cables below this bolt hole <clears throat> and this bolt hole is kind of kind of steep and then you got to have to clear the distance of the frame for this one right here they all take a little bit of a reach the nuts are fabricated into the into the bed so all you need is a socket to get to it the spare tire holder protrudes through the bed and you need to pull the the linkage out for that this is from underneath this is the mechanism for lowering the spare tire. Get that cotter key right there to where you can reach reach it, pull it out, then this will slide out. I think I called it a cotter key, it's not a cotter key. Anyways, the clip. The fill neck has four bolt holes. Phillips, number two Phillips will do that. For the filler cap, shove a rag in there after you take the cap off. Make sure the rag don't go so far to get past the flap or so it tears off and winds up in the tank. I prefer a blue shop towel. You buy it at a parts store over a regular paper towel. Paper towel is going to dissolve a lot easier and quicker. There are two wires that you need to unplug. One on each side. This one came out of here. And all I had to do was push the little, little release on the upper plug there and pull the bottom out. I'll be, honest with, I'll be honest with you, I can't stand doing them plugs. You never know what some engineer designed for a release and you got to fit around in the dark and not be able to see things or in tight quarters trying to figure out the magic. They go up to the tail lights. And one of these wires on this side or for the tag lights on the bumper. This is where they spliced in to put a separate trailer plug on it. Well, thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe and do all them button pushing that YouTube wants. And remember, if you love life and learning new things, go aimless.com.